So yesterday I did a tutorial about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and how it uses a software feature to put applications to sleep in an attempt to increase the overall battery life of your device. That is definitely done with good intentions. People like more battery life on their devices but it can sometimes cause issues with applications that you are using. So that's why I wanted to show you how to prevent that from happening. Today I wanted to show you how to increase the overall screen resolution of the Galaxy Note 9 because again Samsung has set something in their software to limit this time the actual hardware in an attempt to increase the overall battery life of your smartphone. Now as smartphones have evolved over the years the resolution of the displays the screens have gotten bigger and bigger that means the pixels have gotten smaller and that means the detail has gotten finer and better year over year. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a lull now that we've gone to 1440p screens. Sony does have phones with a 4K display but they are only activated in certain situations due to power consumption issues. But the GPUs and our phones these days are fully capable and power efficient when using your phone in 1440p. However, Samsung with the Galaxy Note 9 and a lot of their other phones defaults the screen resolution to 1080p. Now the 1080p may be fine whenever you're playing a casual game or just browsing regular websites but it can actually ruin the experience if you're playing one of these higher quality games or if you're trying to watch say a TV show or movie on Netflix in 4K or something higher than 1080p. So in today, today's tutorial I'm, I'm going to show you how to increase the screen resolution of the Galaxy Note 9 to its fullest. Now to start we just need to go ahead and open up the settings application like normal. We're going to dive into the display section this time. And right here in this first screen you're going to see the screen resolution menu. Go ahead and tap it and as you can see by default it has it set to full HD plus. Full HD plus is just a marketing term it's still a 1080p display 1080 pixels across the top and bottom. For this particular device though that means it goes up 2,220 pixels. Different phones these days are shipping with different taller aspect ratios so Full HD Plus is a really an overall marketing term that these companies are using. Not all Full HD phone, Full HD Plus phones are going to have that specific screen resolution. In any case, as you can see, Samsung defaults the Galaxy Note 9, this smartphone that costs many hundreds of dollars, to 1080p. Now there are a lot of low-end and mid-range smartphones that can cost between $100 and $200, $300 that ship with a 1080p display. I don't think that's fair, I don't think that's right. So that's the point of this tutorial. 
I have spent a lot of money on this phone. I want to use its hardware and its software to the maximum. I want to get the fullest I can get from this device. So, since this is just a simple slider, all we have to do is swipe that to the right, which as you can see is 1440p by 2960 pixels, so 1440 pixels wide, and then 2960 pixels tall. Again, it's just a common marketing term to call that QHD+. Plus. Some people will call this actually 2K, especially like um, for gaming desktop monitors, they'll call it a 2K monitor, even though it's just 1440p. Samsung and a lot of these newer smartphone companies are calling this QHD+, Plus, which means Quad HD+, Plus because the taller aspect ratio. So, once we have swiped that toggle to the right, all we have to do is tap on Done. And then we have instantly changed our screen resolution from 1080p to 1440p. It would be a little bit difficult to see the change here, but if you're playing a high-definition mobile game or watching a movie on Hulu or Netflix or any of the other streaming sites, you're going to see that difference instantly. Now, I do want to give you that, a warning that is displayed here that whenever we change the screen resolution... Any applications that are currently open may need to be reopened. That means they may force close, as it's mentioned, and you will need to open it up again. Nothing has broken. It just means that that application was rendered in a different resolution because that's what the phone's resolution was at that time. Now this will decrease, or I guess this could decrease the overall battery life of your device. Again, like I said, GPUs these days are fully capable and efficient to render displays at 1440p. You may get 10 or 20 or 30 minutes less battery life than before. Or your on-screen battery life and the, your battery life at the end of the day might be the exact same as before. It really all depends on what you do with your phone since we all use our phones differently. But I just wanted to show you how to get the fullest and highest screen resolution on the Galaxy Note 9 from Samsung since they defaulted to full HD+.